Hello my little beauties, welcome back, welcome back. Let's finish the CMS. We're on the last video, let's rock and roll, let's get this thing rocking. Are you up for it? Okay, let's do it. So, last video, here we go. As far as I can tell, it's been a while since I've looked at this, but I think we've pretty much got everything. We can create pages, edit them, delete them, we have our meta tags and all that sorted out. Everything is rocking and rolling. There is only one thing that we need to do. To be honest, I thought you'd figure this out for yourself, which is why there was such a delay between the last video and this one. But there's only one thing left to do, and that is to add a nice little editor, a nice little what you see is what you get editor. You know what that means, right? The little italic buttons and bold and all that. Kind of so that it looks a bit like Microsoft Word or something. Your clients will love it. You'll love it. And everybody will be happy. So, let's add a cool what you see is what you get editor. Now, here is where all the hassle begins because I've got to explain the vibe, okay? Building ed editors, what you see is what you get editors, is very difficult. It involves a lot of, like, a lot of JavaScript, and to be entirely straight, it's beyond the scope of most normal human beings, okay? And certainly beyond the scope of this little tutorial. So what you want to do you crazy, mad rock and roller. You want to find uh, what you see is what you get editor that's already out there and integrate it with your CMS, okay? Now, I've done all the looking for you. I've done all the hard work, blah, 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 blah. And let me give you the lay of the vibe as I see it. There are some free ones which are kind of rubbish. There are some paid ones which are kind of good. And like most things in life, if you want the good stuff, you have to pay. Isn't that a shame? Now, in my opinion, in my opinion, the two best what you see is what you get editors at this point in time, and it could change, but right now, I think the two best ones are TinyMCE, which you can catch at tinymce.com, and CK Editor, which you can catch at CK Editor. Dot com, okay? Now, CK Editor used to be called FCK Editor, I think, actually. I think it did. But in any event, this is the vibe. Can you see it here? Everything looks kind of nice, nice pictures. We've got our little buttons here. This is just fantastic, Ola. We can even switch between source code mode and normal mode. That's CK Editor. Tiny MC uh, editor is the same kind of vibe, and there's a demo somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, yeah, here is here, right in the page. Hello. <laughs> okay, so here's the demo, and look, we can do all H1s and everything that you could ever need. It's all right here, man. It's all right here. Now, when you go to these two sites of these two excellent editors, you will be able to download them for free. If you click download, uh, it contains all you need for production, usage, blah blah blah. And they are both uh, free to download as far as I can tell. However, when you download, you will notice something very strange. You see, when you download either of these two things, what you'll notice is that it will look great, and it's easy to install and everything. And then one moment you'll look around and you'll say, okay, how do I upload pictures? Hello? <laughs> and nothing will be there. Because here's the rub. You know the thing for handling image uploads? Well, the default versions of these two editors don't have that. You have to pay. It's an optional extra. Now, how many websites are you involved in that don't require pictures? It's ridiculous, right? So everybody needs a picture handler, an image handler. So the upshot is, and the rub is, you're going to have to buy the image add-on thing so that these things are functional. Isn't that a shame? 
So let's check it out, right? We've got the CK Finder thing, and if you look at the bottom, you'll see it says, this demo uses CK Finder to upload and manage files. Okay, so here we go, CK Finder. Can't be that expensive, right? We click on it, and uh, they'll give you a free trial, but to buy, look at that. Um, it's $99 dollars to buy it if you're an individual developing a single website and if it's a development team for up to three websites it's four hundred and ninety nine dollars I don't think that's very cheap by any stretch of the English language but there you go uh, tiny MCE there image uploading thing is called Moxie Manager, same kind of gig. If you click buy now, here are the prices. Um, standard $75, it's about the same. Professional, sorry, Euros. Professional 299 Enterprise, just under $600, $599. So that's the vibe. You've got to pay, you've got to do for the image uploading thing. So there you have it, now you know. End of tutorial, thank you very much. Head on off and buy this stuff, okay? I'm sure they will accept all major credit cards and I'm sure they'll be delighted to accept your payment straight away. So I highly recommend these purchases. Good luck, thank you very much, and goodbye, okay? Go buy them, okay? Bye. Hey man, you're still here. What do you mean you don't want to buy them? What kind of a cheap, miserable person are you? Okay. Well, you should buy them. But, okay, would you like something just to kind of get... Okay, I hear you, right? So something just to kind of get you by. Okay, okay, I can handle it. Alright, well... Okay, here's the vibe, okay? Here's the vibe. The image handling thing's a bit of a drag, right? Somebody, I don't know who, I don't know who, right? It's kind of a mystery. But some crazy rock and roller figured out that if you combine Tiny MCE with the CK editor, if you combine them, change a few lines of code and do a couple of triple back somersaults then you can actually get an image uploader working okay it wasn't me somebody figured it out so um the way it works is something like this okay so here's the folder where the stuff is this is the folder where the website is okay so what you do is you get a hold of the thing and you paste it into your main directory like so. Okay, it's called Tiny FCK, and this is the folder with all the stuff we need to get that thing rocking, okay? Then you go in the main directory and you create a new folder called User Files, capital U, capital F. Then inside the user files folder, you create another new folder called image with a capital I. Okay, everything seem easy so far? Good. So then we head uh, into our admin panel here. And this is the page. This is the page where we want the editor to appear. We don't need it on any other page. We just need it on this page, right? So we open up our text editor software. I'm using Sublime these days, you know. And uh, I'm going to open up webpages.php and head to create, okay. So that's us right here. And I'm going to add a new variable in that's going to be passed onto the template. And the variable is going to be uh, draw editor. Something like that, and I'll say this equals true. There we go, right? Now this is calling up the admin 
a template. So I'm going to open that up. Here it is here. And I'm going to say, I'll head into the head here. And I'm going to say, if is set draw editor, then die. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Okay, so I'm going to say that if the text editor thing is required, then I'm just going to do include um, editor header dot php. Just an old include statement ought to do the trick. Now, this is going to be in the views folder here. We're in the templates module. So I'm just going to right click, do a new file, and I'm going to call it editor underscore header dot php. That looks pretty cool. And then I'm going to paste in a bunch of code here. I don't expect you to remember this and I'm not going to tell you what it all does. But I'm going to paste in a bunch of code here. And when we go back to this page and hit refresh, our editor is in place and everything looks just fine. So when it comes to that page, it loads up all of this stuff here and that gets this working okay so everything is cool and we can upload pictures the whole shooting match it's all here it's all working and everything is cool so that's us we've added the editor i think that's the whole thing finished okay so thank you very much indeed i hope you've had fun goodbye now just so you know, that method of adding the editor, that will work with pretty much any old what you see is what you get editor. That's generally how you install the things, you know. So have a look around the web, find one that you like and knock yourself out. Have fun and good luck. Okay, thank you very much. Goodbye.